Once upon a time there was a boy, the youngest in his family, and among the many other things this can mean, it meant that he never had control over the radio. The boy's father listened to classic rock, and it was good. The boy liked the Beatles and the monkeys. He could appreciate Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Simon and Garfunkel. But they did not play his music. The boy's mother preferred country, and it was good. Garth Brooks was an excellent singer, and Lone Star made good songs. But they were not his songs. The boy's sister tuned to the top forty station whenever she could, and it was good. Michael Jackson was a master of his craft. Songs like Kissed by a Rose and Gangster's Paradise were enjoyable the first dozen times or so. But if they were his songs, they would not have seemed old even then. When the boy turned seventeen and had his own car, he could finally explore all the dial had to offer. The classical station occasionally played memorable works, but not often enough. The Spanish-language station was interesting, but he knew its music was not his. However, the boy then came across a station that played hard rock. Rock from the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. He heard ACDC, Guns N' Roses, and the Scorpions play regularly. But was this truly his music? No. There was still something missing. Something that teased at the edge of his hearing. Something he never heard on the radio. Something he heard once, played quiet on a stereo, brought to a Boy Scout summer camp. Something harder than rock. It wasn't until the boy turned eighteen, and a friend gifted him an album, that he knew what he was missing. What had been his music all along. And the name of that album was Metallica. From the first song to the last, he came to know that his music hailed from the land of metal. He memorized the lyrics to wherever I may roam and set about making up for lost time. Now the boy is a man, and his library of metal albums has deepened considerably. Come along with me for a trip through the land of metal and perhaps I will share with you a measure of its extent. Double fun. Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and Jack Black has something he'd like to show you. Okay. Don't say a word, just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. Okay, this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead, open it, if you dare. I like the touch that it's in the forbidden metal section. Now let me just take you through the menu here so you can see what's in it. Surprisingly extensive. Odd that it doesn't have the hole in the middle though. Anyway, we'll be getting to extras eventually. It's all concept art and such, so I'll just post it in the thread. Let's get going.
<laughs> Watch it. Dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs. Uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy. He scares me. Hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know. When are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? Fix anything except that. Metal is dead. <sighs> so fine, old mind. Say like a porcupine. Say what? You ever feel like you were born in the wrong time? Like you should have been born earlier? When the music was real? Like the 70s? Earlier. Like the early 70s. Uh oh. I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! Oh, hey. Now, this one is kind of hard. Because it is funnier when they bleep it out. But I like to think we're all adults here. And don't tell me different. Fucking piece of shit! It's you can't <laughs> Please let him fall. Damn it! A good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, he don't even know he's there. Once in a while, he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone. Yeah, let's just keep that in. I mean, I might not, but I, I will.
Well, now. This is different. Huh? has finally come for us to serve our master. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Yeah, I, uh, I totally know the Master. We're really good friends. We've known each other since kindergarten. And, uh, if anything, gotta get a weapon! Stay the fuck away from me with that thing. Hey! Silence. In fact, he sent me here. Yeah! And here we have our basic melee weapon. Two general varieties here. To strike and to overstrike. Also kind of accidentally activated the focus targeting option. My left trigger tends to stick on my gamepad. What's going on up there? What's all that lightning about? Hey, get away from that guitar! I just tuned that thing. Oh, hey. Got old Clementine back. So now we got two axes. One for ranged, one for melee. That's rock! How do you like the flavor? Of course, ranged is naturally kind of unbalanced compared to melee. So you can only do it so often before the uh, guitar overheats. Feel the sacred blade. Alright, yeah, B blocks, that's pretty simple. Aha, our first combo move. Close your eyes. One hell of a combo. I'm just playing around with the weapons here. Super effective. Yeah, gotta do the Earth Shaker again before it'll let me proceed. That's the problem with the wind-up attacks, is that you have to wind up. Now I know what you're thinking right about now. So the main character almost dies, and he gets whisked away to a magical land where his particular skills makes him a god amongst men. So he's either dying or in a coma right now. But let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, you get that thought right out of your head. Because a coma ain't nearly metal enough for this game. Alright, nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon.
Kind of sexy, though, in a weird way. Hmm. Oh, you look like a... Ugh. I gotta say, you are a big definition of the butter face. Uh, unfortunately, you can only do dodge rolls while you're locked in on an enemy. And you're not all B does is block. Oh. Wait, I think I heard once that killing nuns is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. And that was actually just another hint as to what you're supposed to do next. Okay, alright. Well, here goes. Um. Oh man, gotta get this thing moving. Let's Still. see here. Dear evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh lords of gross leather things, and S&M type wear. You know you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, Sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? By your good graces. Uh oh. Ah, I meant evil! Evil graces! Ah, son of a. Oh, nice cheater move, guys. Really cool. <laughs> Gotta wait for her to cool down. I got another one in there. Yeah, that just isn't working. The axe isn't long range enough. So really I should have thought of that first. Oh man. Don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. <gasps> We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. Whoever he may be is probably going to be bad news, so, you know. Wait, before who arrives? Emperor Deviculus. Who? Emperor Deviculus, where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of live on the road. Be assured, you don't want to be here when he arrives. What's the big deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard, for one thing. Oh, aha. Okay, I got the buttons down there. Let's try that again. Thanks. No, not far away. Too far away. Right ahead. So, what did you say your name was? Come on, we have to run. Yeah, I could use Earth Shaker to take these guys down. I just wanted to try out the new thing first instead. Aha! Combo attacks. Oh, that was enough. Follow me! This way! We have to get to the door before the... Too late. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. What is this place? The Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose. Not much to do here, except for the obvious glowing thing. So let's try out our newfound power. On the obvious glowing thing. Ta-da! 
just a little of the old guitar hero magic. What have you done? Created beauty by simply rocking, that's all. Is that helping us get out of here alive? Actually, yeah, I think so. Strong back. Is it a minecart? I call it the Druid Plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo hoo hoo hello. Looks like it's working already. You have awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. Also known as the Deuce. It's a car. It does what cars do. This is much better. We need to reach the bridge before they shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What are they feeding? If we get there fast enough, you might not need to find out. Um, what's up with crazy legs? They've called in reinforcements. Why such a large force? What? Maybe because we're badasses. Or maybe Emperor What's-His-Name has something against you. Okay, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this place is nuts. Yeah! Yes. These are dark times for our land, but there are a few of us fighting to change the way things are. Is that why you've come? To join us and fight for the liberation of humanity? Ah, uh, damn it. I really know. Haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, so far that's the best explanation I've heard. Ah, oh, damn it. Really ruins the cinematic feel when I keep running into things. Aw, oh, come on! I'm fucking sick of you guys! Alright, while I'm slaying these dudes, you get that gate open, okay? God, she's awesome. Exit the vehicle? And what the hell would I want to exit the vehicle? Seems a lot more efficient to me. Also a lot more fun. But... Oh, alright. Just take care of this one last guy. Sorry. Did you know those dudes? We gotta time your smoke breaks better, Riggs. As you might imagine, this boss is all about timing those nitro boosts at the right point. Uh, didn't get up enough speed. That is what you're supposed to do, just faster. Like that, Miss Licky? Keep that ugly muscle in your mouth next time! Here she goes again! Oh, overcompensated. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that twice! Alright, shut up already! Oh, not again! 
Third time's the charm. Bingo! I'm in jackpot! <laughs> You'll never French kiss again! What's French kissing? Uh, it's, uh... The, um, gate's open. What? Oh, the gate! What's that? I couldn't hear you. It's like you got a lisp or something. Over here, you foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may sweat <laughs> my blade on your hey, knock that off. and entrails. Eddie, come back. Oh, all right. Over here. Ah. Hmm. Are you blind? Lower now, the what to do? Is it the best you've got? Ah, there we are. Decapitation! There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you. Hang on. I shall now teach you of French kissing. Nitro seems like a good idea, but it gets you ahead of... Well, you go too fast to account for what's going on, so... Ha 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 Did you see that? Man, those things are dumb! Take the right side! I was gonna do that! No oh, boss! Hey, check out the cool cliff! Eyes on the road! Uh-oh! Besides! Besides! Uh-oh. That was close. Now put your hands up for this one, okay? Wow! You like the car? Yeah. I can't wait to show it to Lars. Aw, oh, hell. Deviculus. They say it was the fire beast Omogodon himself? No. Far, far worse than me. It was Sakoria. I can smell her blood. The season of pain is upon us. But why has she returned now? What does she want? War. Finally. We should keep moving. We'll be safe in Bladehenge. Here, take this map. Alright, now here's the map and here's me zooming out because my left trigger is sticking again. Ah, it seems pretty simple, if rather... unseeable. What's in Bladehenge? Bladehenge is the center of the human resistance movement. Aha! Army headquarters, huh? Well, right now the army is just large... Yeah, yeah. Lars, his sister, and me. <laughs> what? Come on! Lars is a great leader, truly inspirational. But we've had a few practical setbacks. An army needs food, shelter, transportation. So many details to manage. Sounds like what you need is a roadie. What's a roadie? Ah, uh, it's a long story. How about when we get to town, we have a big powwow with your whole army? 
We'll have a campfire, and I'll tell you all about what I do and where I came from over a big flagon of mead. What's a flagon of mead? Whoops. I'm gonna try not to do that, by the way. Ophelia? What demon have you allowed to follow you home this time? Oh, hello. Don't mind Lita. She's Lars's little sister. A little high strung. Lars! How do you even get up there? So let me get this straight. These performers, they don't even have to tune their own instruments? Nah, no, that's our job. The roadies. The rock star's job is just to deliver the audience to the promised land of rock. Fascinating. Um, can we get back to the part where you were summoned here from another world? Oh yeah, by this little guy here. You were brought here by Orma Godin? The eternal fire beast? The cremator of the sky. Destroyer of the ancient world. Yeah, I accidentally got a little blood in its mouth and it totally went nuts on me. There are those who speak of a day when Orma Godin the fire beast shall bring a warrior into this world. To destroy us. To deliver us. There is some dispute about the translation, but having met you, I can tell that you are here to help us. To lead us. To wage war against the demons, to liberate humanity! Hell yeah! I mean, hold on a second. I don't know anything about waging war, but uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know from meeting you, Lars, that you are the true leader here, not me. What I know is how to put a crew together and how to keep it organized and how to take it on the road. That, my friend, is exactly what we need. But I'm sure you must be longing to return to your homeland. <sighs> Alright, so where's your army, Lars? We have none. General Lionwhite has taken away most of our young men to toil in his mines. And he's taken our women to serve as slaves in his decadent pleasure tower. Well, let's go get him back! No, you are not to go near Lionwhite again. You were almost impaled last time. Compromise. We'll get the dudes first, and then they can help us get the ladies. But- Time to break the chains! I'll show you the mines, but I think you'll find these chains very hard to break. Oh well. That seems like enough for one day's work. I could look at that thing, but I'll do it next time. So until then... <laughs>